It is directed by Annie Musciati, stars Bill Skarsgård as Pennywise the Dancing Clown, and a bunch of other kid actors who are new to the screen because they're all kids. And this was my, one of my most anticipated movies of the year. I was so excited to watch it. I finally did. The teaser trailers were amazing. The regular trailers were amazing. I loved every bit of it. It was <laughs> it was great. It was great. I mean, it was a great movie, especially like, and I knew from the first ever trailer that this movie would be directed so well. And it was like the way this guy flows his camera and the camera angles he uses, the way he all, it all looks so smooth and it's absolutely gorgeous. Like I would, I would consider a thousand the Academy. I would consider nominating this for best director. And that's like the only Oscar nomination it gets. I'm serious. And like the directing is so good. So it is about a group of kids known as the Losers Club. They're just friends and it's summertime and this clown, they keep they all see him in different ways and it symbolizes actually symbolizes their psychological fears. But it's he's a clown and he's like no one else can see him. He's not real, but that he is trying he kills them. He kills children. He comes out every 27 years and terrorizes the town of Derry, Maine and then he'll go back and then they just like they notice everyone's missing the main character Billy his little brother actually gets dragged into the sewers by Pennywise and killed and he's just he convinced he's not dead he's convinced that something else happened and it ends up that something else did happen this clown killed him and he he symbolizes their natural fears and so he and his friends group together and they want to stop this clown and stop him from terrorizing they have to face their fears it was it was good. I I'm glad that it was more of a Stephen King adaptation than it was a horror movie because that's what it needed to be. It's based on the book by Stephen King, same title, and it was that. I think they did that well, but I think people need to educate themselves more on what it actually is and that it is going to be a Stephen King adaptation and it's going to be a Stephen King story. The story was great. It was a steady, solid story. It was a better movie than it was a horror movie. I thought that was really cool and I really liked that. All the kid actors are great. I mean, they did a great job. I, I thought it was great. The editing was great. The color was really good. It was really bright and darker than it needed to be for like Pennywise. I mean, it was it was really good, but it wasn't like a 10 out of 10, and it wasn't, it's somewhere for me, it's going to, it's like somewhere between an 8.5 and, and a 9 out of 10, like 8.75, I guess. It was, it was good, and it was a really good movie, but it just like kind of, I mean, it just wasn't, it wasn't amazing, but it was a really good movie. It was still really good, and I highly recommend everyone to watch it. Just don't go in expecting a horror movie about a clown. First off, like learn what Pennywise is. Learn that he's not a clown. At least learn if you're gonna learn anything about this movie before you watch it, learn that Pennywise is not a clown. Don't go in wanting to watch a scary clown movie because that is not it. That is not it. It's a Stephen King movie to its purest form. He actually really loved it. I thought that was cool. I mean I always think that's cool when the author loves the movie based on the book. It was just a good movie. It had good scares. It had great suspense. Bill, I'll talk about Bill Skarsgård. His performance as Pennywise was very good. It was very good. I loved what they did with how he just shape shifted and like could bend all his bodies. I loved. I loved the haunted house scene in particular, and then the third act. I really loved. That was the best for me. I loved learning what You Float 2 actually meant. I thought that was beautiful when they showed that. I thought it was so cool. I thought that was a great thing. And I mean, that was probably in the book, but I haven't read the book, so I don't know. It was, it just all, it showed all the child's fears so well with Pennywise in the scene. Like, they did that very well. And there was lots of good humor in it. I liked, I liked the characters a lot because they each had their, they were their own person and they each had their own specific things. So you can you could really tell them apart, and I just really like that. They gave great performances. Like Pennywise was, he was creepy, and that's what he needed to be. He didn't need to be scary. He needed to be creepy, and that's what he was. He was kind of funny at times too. That was that's really necessary because that's what happened in the book, I believe. So it was really good. Um, there's two scenes that I would have cut out, but this is just my opinion. One scene involving the bully. 
Um, I'm not sure his character's name. There's a scene involving him and his fear that I'm not going to get into. I don't want to spoil it. But I just thought it could have been cut out completely. I mean, I get that they were trying to show that Pennywise affects him too. but And it probably was in the book, and that's fine. That's great. But I just think it kind of wasn't necessary. And I think it should have focused on the kids, really. Just them. Because he, we didn't know anything about him. He didn't have that much dialogue at all. And I just don't think he should have had that one scene. That's just me. And then another scene was the scene from the first teaser trailer where they're watching the film, the photographs in the garage. And then that scene was fine. But then Pennywise comes and he gets really, really big like a giant. And he's crawling. I, didn't, I thought that was a little much. I think it, that he should have kept him small. And it would have been fine. Other than that, this movie's great. The The first, second, and third acts are all done so well. It's all done at a great pace and a continuous story. The characters are developing. The story is continuing. It was, it was really developed. It was a really well-made movie. It's a really good movie. Just, it's, you need to just know what it is before you're watching it. Don't think it's a horror movie or anything like that. You need to know. Uh, it was great. I'm going to give it... I would either give it a three and a half or four out of five stars, somewhere in between, like a 3.75, I guess. I mean, it, it was just a really good movie, and I will watch it again. I will buy it. It's a good movie, and I loved it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I'm going to review The Wrestler next, directed by Darren Aronofsky. And then I'm going to review Black Swan and then his new movie, Mother. I'm really excited to see that. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe, and thanks a lot. Bye.